Hey guys, just wanted to give you a little update today. Um, some of the stuff I've been working on. I know you guys have been dying to find out what I was going to do with the uh, NZ XT Century fan controller. Well, we have put it in the uh, domestic tech station. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to put it in here was to give us separate controls over the different fans as well as be able to use the temperature probes for uh, checking our memory, uh, south bridge, north bridge, things like that. I'll uh, give you a little closer look at the controller itself. As you can see the fans that are spinning here, these are the ones that are actually on. So it'll show you they're on with the spinning and right here it reads the RPM. This one's at 1000, 1300 and this one's at 1000. And these right here are your temperatures for them particular probes. Like this one's running at 22 Celsius, 21.4. Uh, on the display itself, we have a temperature alarm, which temporarily I have set to off, but you could turn that on to uh, set it for a certain temperature if your north bridge gets too hot, CPU, RAM, whatever. It will uh, actually set off an alarm. As you can see, it, it shows the current time also shows current date and this tells me here that I have it set the fan set to manual mode where you could also set them to automatic so that it would run like uh, some of your Windows uh, software fan controls where it can adjust the RPMs of the fan for you but anyway I wanted to uh, show you a little update on the uh, domestic bench itself I do have it up and running now. We are running the uh, Q9300 in there right now. I had just added some additional fans that I had handy. These were a couple of uh, yellow Inwin ones that came out of uh, one of my cases. I think that maybe came out of the uh, uh, Dragon Rider. And then I just had a Silent X fan that I added up here for my uh, chipset cooling. But it moves a ton of air. We're getting some great airflow through it. Cable management on these decks is a breeze with all of the slots that they had put in here. So as you can see, there's still quite a bit more a person could do with them. I just have a, a single drive mounted in here right now, but I could easily add several drives for a RAID array. There's still tons of room on the bottom. I haven't even used the uh, sides yet the side fan mounts because I'm, I'm planning on eventually adding a water cooler system to this so when I do uh, overclocking and benchmarking on this I can uh, water cool the CPU. Uh, one other thing I want to do yet is there's a hole right here and I'm not sure what that was for. I'm almost wondering if that was maybe for a uh, like LEDs for uh, hard drive uh, power something like that. I, I'm not sure but that's what it's going to be. I'm actually going to cut out a plate to mount here and then uh, mount a, a green and a red LED in there for power and then for hard drive activity just to fill that hole but uh, basically as you can see it's a heck of a heck of a tech station. It gives you plenty of room for uh, air cooling everything make a lot of turbulence around the motherboard itself and it's uh, big enough that you could really add a lot of stuff to it. But that's going to be it for this update. I just wanted to uh, not make you guys have to wait too long to see what I was doing with the uh, Century LX fan controller as well as showing you a little update on the uh, tech station itself. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching.